Did you know a simple act of sucking juice with a straw requires atmospheric pressure? For this we need a small glass jar, water, plasticine or modeling clay and a straw. Make a hole in the jar's lid like this. It should be big enough to put a straw through. Now fill the jar with water, then fix the lid tight. Now put the straw through the hole in the water. Seal the hole such that no air leaks into the bottle from the sides. Now that we have left no room for any air to enter into the bottle from the outside, try sucking out water through the straw. You will observe that a little water comes to the mouth and then it stops. Can you explain why? Normally when we use a straw, the sucking action removes air from inside the straw, creating a vacuum inside it. Since the other end of the straw is immersed in a liquid, the atmosphere exerts pressure on this liquid and pushes it into the straw to fill the vacuum. The space which had been occupied by the liquid in the container is replaced by air from the outside. However, in this case, the absence of any opening into the bottle prevents air from entering into the bottle, thus preventing the atmosphere from exerting pressure on the water. So no water comes up the straw regardless of how hard you suck. Also, notice the spurt of bubbles formed as soon as we have let the straw out of our mouth. This is because of lower pressure inside the jar, which sucks the air in through the upper end of the straw as soon as we let it go. Remove the ceiling around the straw and try sucking again. What happens now? The filling of injection syringes is based on the same principle.